Last year, I competed in an off-road competition called Land Rover Trek, and our team won. We even beat an Olympian. Well, we're back this year. Let's see if we can take the title again. But first, a word from our sponsor. It took a while to get up here. We started out around 1959. But we didn't do all that just to get here. We did it to give you a truck that'll take you anywhere. This is the new Nissan. Land Rover Trek is a really cool competition put on by Land Rover for its dealers. And dealers from all around the country participate against each other. And it really is supposed to support the essence of the brand, the adventure seeker, the rugged nature, and of course, the problem solving that Land Rover is all about. I'm not a dealer and neither is anyone on our team, but Land Rover really wanted to tell the story of Land Rover Trek. So they invited several teams of journalists out to compete against each other. And here's how it went. Hey everybody, I've got such a cool adventure for you today because it's Survivor, but with Land Rovers. That's right, it's Land Rover Trek 2022. And in this video, I'm gonna participate in an off-road slash physical adventure where we compete with other teams to see who is the leading champion of the Land Rover Trek. So basically, we've got various challenges throughout the day where we test the vehicle, test ourselves physically, and this first challenge is a running obstacle course. We got a bear crawl right into a water jug carry to load up these Landovers with water for the rest of the trip. It's a uh, competition, there's points involved in every challenge, and I'm gonna take you along this journey. So you can see there goes team three, got a run, we got this bear crawl down there, we got a balance beam, there's my buddy Brian. So there are three people per team, on our team it's myself, Brian Doerr and Jeff Glucker, and we're competing against four other teams. Oh man, I'm not in good enough shape for this. So this is the relay. Nice work. How was it? It's just not in good shape, man. <laughs> if you're in any shape, you'll be fine. Yeah, bro, I'm walking. Want to grab it? Dude, if you, got you it. have the energy. Yeah. Uh, you know what, you just ran, I can do oh, it. You want to hold the GoPro? Yeah, sure. Deal. Make sure that's tight. Yeah. Do you roll it? Yeah, you're rolling. All right, here we go. So the team so graciously Fills up the canisters. <laughs> now it's basically a kettlebell carry all the way back to the Land Rover. How you doing, big guy? Oh, doing great. Yeah. Well, you out of shape. You gonna make it, or you uh, need a swap? Uh, I'm gonna make it. I okay. think. I mean, we can swap if you want. No, it's up to it's you. Not too bad. We're just walking. <laughs> We're good. We're way out ahead. We got nice cruisy finish. I don't know what is what is how many gallons of water weigh. It's not light. Uh, I can't see the size on it. Five. It's gotta be five gallons. Maybe? Now you can't tell on camera. This is easily 250, 300 pounds. <laughs> so what we're doing is almost superhuman here. End of the first challenge, feeling pretty good. The team right behind us, so finished not far off from where we were at. Look at the teamwork. Wow. Embracing the Landover spirit. So at the challenge one, we got the full 10 points. Now we're gonna check out challenge two. Let's take a quick tour of the Defender, which is gonna be guiding us through our adventures in the 2022 Trek. Now, the basis is a 110, so it's a four-door Land Rover, but this is actually a P300, and what that means is that this is the four-cylinder Defender. Now, there's a straight six, a V8, but this is just the smallest engine, the inline four-cylinder model, so right around 300 horsepower. Now, this Land Rover has a mixture of JLR components as well as components by a company called Lucky 8, which does a lot of the outfitting. So, let's start out at the front. Now, first of all, this A bar, this kind of push bar, is a Land Rover accessory, and behind it, you'll see an integrated Warren winch with the, uh, the Xeon unit mounted there behind that little grill. Now, we do have a lot of kind of emblems and stickers and wraps on this vehicle. We got these limb risers which go up to this uh, accessory mounted to the roof. Along the side we've got these enormous sliders. They look really beefy and should keep the side of the vehicle nice and protected. Now this vehicle is equipped with fairly standard sized tires but they are a Wrangler Duratrac 255 70 R18s and I wish that these came equipped with the steel wheels like they did last year but they're running the alloy design. Uh, Land Rover badging on the side. We got a couple of cans mounted along um, the left portion of the vehicle. We've got the awning up top. We've got a roof nest tent and out back the Trek 
So our tire carrier, got this ladder, love the big chunky mud flaps. We also have, of course, the recovery points in the rear. And the interesting thing about this challenge is it's designed for Land Rover dealers to come out and experience a vehicle. So every one of these is owned by a dealer and then they'll take them back and sell them. There's about a hundred of them. This one is owned by Land Rover Flatirons, which coincidentally is our local Land Rover dealer, which I think is pretty fun. Now on the right side of the vehicle, we got the recovery board up top here. We have the Land Rover box probably locked, which it is. And let's take a quick peek on the inside and see what we are dealing with. All these also have the snorkel. So we've got the full vinyl interior with the manual seats, keeps things nice and simple, keep things nice and durable. We got the winch controller right here, um, charging up. So when we, uh, when we need it, it'll be ready to go. Um, now this is, like I mentioned, a relatively entry model. So we don't have the big screen. We also don't have the full digital instruments, partial digital instrument cluster, no sunroof in this model. And then I love this kind of decal that they've incorporated down here along the center with the Trek. These vehicles are numbered. This one is 62 out of 100. Land Rover of uh, flat irons. We'll, we'll do our best to keep your vehicle in one piece because I know someone is really excited to own it one day. All right, let's open up the rear. Now they provided us with a lot of gear. We got some camping goodies. We got this ARB fridge mounted on this little slider system. Got a fire extinguisher, of course, the little rack to keep the, uh, the passenger compartment and the storage area separated. But overall, I think this thing should be pretty good on the adventures that we have lined up for today. It does have the air suspension, so it should be ready to go in terms of capability there. Underneath, got some skid plates, got the recovery point exposed. So if we need it, we'll be able to recover the vehicle. The next challenge was pretty interesting. It was kind of a thought game and navigation challenge. So one person took a look at a picture, a vague picture of a course drawn on a piece of paper, and then the other person had to drive the course exactly as shown on the paper with no hints. And then when you get through there, we're going back through here. All right, but we gotta watch this cone. That challenge actually turned out to be a piece of cake. Jeff Glucker, as it turns out, is a mind magician. Next up though, was something a little bit unique. All right, the next challenge, two teams are coming together to push this Discovery 2 Egyptian style down a couple of car lengths. We gotta move the pipes in front of the vehicle and try not to get our fingers squished. So the next challenge is totally up my alley. We're driving 192 miles from New Jersey to Vermont um, for kind of the overnight off-road portion. And we have to do that in exactly 247 minutes. So it's a lot of maths, and I quite like doing maths on the road. It's kind of like my guilty pleasure. You can't tell I'm a nerd, can you? But been calculating it, Brian's been driving, Jeff's been navigating because it's kind of this obscure route book. And now we got lunches. Got snacks. Damn, son. Open the door, son. Let's put these up in there. All right. All right. Pop them in there. Been doing the maths here. Got the GPS going, got the maths, got the route book, and we should be hitting our finish point within exactly a minute. So we're waiting here on the side of the road so we get the time distance portion right. All right, go for it. Good. How are Good. You? Right there. Nice to see you. It's on. So the time distance, time distance comfort rally what is it time time speed, time speed distance rally so this time speed distance rally took us to this incredible picturesque property in new york and the guy who owns this property is a huge land rover enthusiast so he's got like this 109 back there he's got a series two up at the house and there's gonna be a number of challenges here which we have to compete in so after driving a lot of hours we made it to this really beautiful property and the first thing we had to do was remove the spare tire and carry it through an obstacle course and after that we entered you're, the you're trailering the challenge where like we had feet. this discovery hooked up to a flatbed trailer yep. with these noodles sticking out of, on either side and then we had to navigate a really really tight obstacle course without letting the noodles touch hey, the cones like brian how'd it feel it was really good. That was tough. Uh, having these things stick out, you never have that experience when you're trailering anything. Wide trailers, sure, but having these and then being able to pivot them around a cone is a different way of thinking because you needed to on this course. If it was dead straight, there's no way this would have fit through that course. Really hard, really fun, always a good time at track. After that, we had a compass reading challenge and then something really cool. We actually had to build a pulley system using snatch blocks and a tree to manually pull the defender several feet across the finish line. One, two, three, go! One, two, three, go! Keep going, keep going, slow, slow, slow. We got the momentum. Hey, put all the gear away. 
Well, we made it to camp here in Vermont at the Land Rover Experience Center. And I think the adventures are going to continue tonight because we got to get ready for camp and then we got to go cook an appetizer for a judge and then cook our dinner. And it's like uh, 6, 6.30 and pretty cooked, but the fun never ends. All right, day two. So uh, it's about 6.45 in the morning. We're starting at 7 with another running obstacle course. And then we have seven more challenges throughout the day to complete. And then like a four hour drive back to the airport and we'll see who won. Um, but it should be a fun day, a little overcast. This man over here is creating all the torture devices that we're gonna be going through throughout the day. We get to use a high lift jack, which is just a, a head clamp that sometimes can be used to winch stuff. So it's gonna be a day. But I think we're gonna start with breakfast. Somebody. Thank you, sir. How was it? Good. Nice. Smash that like button. <laughs> so we are cruising down some farm tracks here in beautiful Vermont. This horrible compass is our marker. And let's see if we can win this. The issue is the lady behind me is very sporty. After winning the relay, we moved on to this obstacle course where you had to back up this defender through a really tight course over rough terrain. And then from there was a bridge building challenge. Um, and the challenge was, it was kind of bridge building slash balance. We had to drive the Land Rover very precisely over these set beams. A little more, a little tiny more. Stop. All right, so on this challenge, we have to drive a Land Rover across a balance beam, as you can see there. It's called On Track and I am driving. The next one was a real pain and it's hard to describe, but basically there was a really steep hill with um, a pretty big kind of bump at the top and we had to winch the Defender up the hill, not a big deal, except we couldn't let the winch line touch the ground. And we had to come up with creative ways using like logs and sticks and stuff to keep it over the ground. It was just a big pain in the butt. And from there we went to something pretty unusual. I thought this was really cool. So it was a target practice game which was supposed to test how well you could spot the vehicle through an obstacle course. And we had this, these cones that were hanging from trees and this little target located on the roof of the vehicle. And we had to line up the Defender perfectly to land the cone in the target except as we went along the train got harder and harder. And then lastly we went to something pretty nuts which was a high lift jack winching challenge. Biggest pain in the butt we had to winch the Defender sideways over a log and it just takes forever and it really is actually pretty hard to do. Now there were several other challenges that we just ran out of time for. The dealers would have continued on but we had to get back to the airport so we zoomed on back to New Jersey and here are the results. Media team four. Where's team four? Okay. 108 points. You nice job. Yeah, that's really good. Very good. Yeah. Nice work. That sounds like a prize. <laughs> <laughs> Media team five got 112. Where's team five? Right here. Right here. Yeah. Media team two, right there, 120 points. Whoa. 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 That's good. Media team three got 128. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And media team one got 11. That's yes! <laughs> 161 points. Yeah! yeah. Hey, well look at that. So we actually came out on top, which was awesome, with over 160 points. A huge thank you to Jeff and Brian for putting up with my shenanigans and just working as a team. And huge thank you to Land Rover for putting this event on. We had a ton of fun. As always, with have been Tommy. We'll see you on the next episode.